Well, Rome's gospel is different than the gospel uh, of the Bible because Rome, Rome's gospel assumes human cooperation. Um, essentially, what happens in the gospel of Rome is you have infused grace. That There is a grace that is infused into a person. I think initially at infant baptism there's an infusion of this grace. Sequentially there are other infusions of this grace. Um, at the Mass, at any of the, the, the Catholic ordinances, the, the, the grace is infused. That's why, you know, they used to say of, of, of a devout Catholic, you went to church every day. You know, the, the idea was every time you go, you get some infusion of grace. And that that infused grace, which is in you, given by God, if you cooperate with it, puts you on a path of justification. Justification not then being an act accomplished by substitutionary death in Christ, but justification being a process. And as you cooperate and uh, do what you can to avoid uh, venial sins and mortal sins and go through the confessions and, and uh, penance and all of that, as you go through the process, you're sort of working your way along with this infused grace, you're cooperating to carry off this justification process. Uh, bottom line, you don't know whether you ever get there. Probably you won't. So you'll have to go to purgatory, and when you go to purgatory, there'll be some, so there's a price to pay. You've got to stay there a while until the process gets completed, until you get purged. Um, and when you've been purged of any remaining uh, problems, uh, and you finally reach the point of justification, you can get elevated into heaven. Um, not at all what the Bible teaches.